Meanwhile, the EU's foreign policy chief has promised a new blacklist of Russians sanctioned by Europe will be announced by Thursday. Moscow's economy could also be targeted. RT's Polly Boyko has more. President Putin, in particular, has direct responsibility to compel them to cooperate with the investigation. That is the least that they can do. Russian-backed rebels, quite likely a Russian-supplied weapon. Um, Russia can't wash its hands of this. The context for this tragedy is Russia's attempt to destabilize a sovereign state, violate its territorial integrity and arm and train thuggish militias. EU foreign ministers have agreed to extend its blacklist of Russian individuals, or Putin's cronies as they call them, to be targeted by a new wave of sanctions, as well as Russian companies in the energy, defense and financial sectors. Another list of harsher, so-called Tier 3 sanctions, will be drawn up but they'll only be imposed at a later date if Russia fails to stem what it says is a flow of weapons, equipment and militants across the border. As far as the measures taken by the, United, by the European Union uh, are concerned, this is a logical consequence of the decision of the European Council and the lack of progress we've seen on the Russian side since then. Across the pond, the White House has long been pushing for the EU to take a harsher stance against Russia and it welcomed its nudge towards more punitive measures, even pushing for a full arms embargo. France has said it will honor its contract to provide Russia with one aircraft carrier, but could still back out of sending a second to Moscow. Washington also tried to take advantage of the situation to definitely destroy the French and European armament industry, and I'm talking about the Mistral boats. I don't think we're going to stop the sale, and anyway, the French government say the, the, its, its final answer would be given in uh, October. In Britain, the Home Secretary unveiled a new public inquiry into an old wound. The death of former FSB agent Alexander Litvinenko in 2006. Uh, it's all part of this Russia-phobic campaign, and uh, the UK government will be uh, hoping that bringing this back into the limelight will uh, try and turn even more people against Russia. And so it's a political decision, I believe. Whitehall ministers reportedly said the timing of the probe was a coincidence, but one that's likely to add to the already high tensions between the West and Russia. Anna Van Densky from the Brussels-based EU Reporter magazine says that a human tragedy is being exploited by diplomats for political gain. Whatever the official, let's say, mainstream press says, there is an understanding and clarity that it's a geopolitical game. And America, the United States, are back to their great classics retaining of Russia. Of course, there are also the allies of the United States uh, in Europe who are following closely the, uh, the point of view or the politics of the United States. This uh, catastrophe is used to such extent for political means that we, we can't really establish the truth because already now the experts have to fight against the opinion of the White House and it's the most powerful country in the world.